Hi and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. Again, we're going to take a look at a brand new Freightliner and I'd like to introduce you to this one. This is a 20, 2020 Freightliner M2 106. The conversion is Summit Hauler. It is stock number 5N191490. So today we're going to start at the very front of the truck. This hood is compressed fiberglass. The advantage to that is if we get a dent in it, it is a lot easier to repair. It is a specialty design grill made by the C9 company that we put on the new haulers. Now if you notice, if we stand back and look, the bumper is broken into three parts. You will see the two on the end and the one in the middle. And that's for very practical purposes. Say we get a dent here, we can replace just that part as opposed to the entire bumper. Now I'll pop the hood and we can take a look underneath. That is the Cummins 8.9 inline six. It has 1150 foot pounds of torque. It offers 350 horsepower and it's coupled with the Allison 3200 transmission. As we notice, the, they color coordinate things under here and the, where we see yellow is stuff we can check. Here's where we would check the oil. On the other side is where we would check coolant level. This is the fuel water separator. Here's where we check the power steering fluid. One good practice to get into uh, when we're checking stuff, right here's some of the lines. As you will notice as we look through the, the truck today, there is a substantial amount of air going through the truck. So if we kind of want to keep an eye open for air leaks as well. Finally, right here is where we would jump start the truck. For some reason, batteries uh, gets drained. Right there is we, where we would jump it. The batteries are actually located underneath the back seat. So as opposed to tearing into all that, they made life easier so we could just jump it right there. One thing you'll notice on the hood, if we are checking everything underneath and a wind comes up to push, it stops right there. The only way to put it down is to force it down. In terms of the mirrors, they're also made to give. So if we hit something, we're not going to break it. It'll give. The tires are Michelin 255 80 R22.5. Summit Hauler puts tire balancers in the truck. That is simply another drum in there. It has BBs and oil. So as you speed up and you gain momentum, it balances the entire rotating mass. The tire, the rim, the wheel, and the hub is all balanced as we're going down the road. So that does a couple of things for us. That gives us a smoother ride, obviously, but these tires aren't cheap and they will prolong the tire life up to 45%. This is our block heater for the cold months to plug that in. It comes with two 50 gallon fuel tanks, one on each side. Now they are connected, so as the truck is stationary like it is here, it'll balance the fuel out. However, you do need to fuel them independently. This is our def tank, which holds up to six gallons. And research shows that we average about 400 miles per one gallon of def, so we can sure keep that in mind as well. As we take a look at the inside, the biggest thing to notice is all the space. You know, people that buy this truck are going to take long trips. So if you compare uh, comfort in terms of this compared to a pickup after a 12 hour drive, there really is no comparison. 
It comes with a very soft black leather with the most comfortable seats on the market today. Here's where we would adjust the air ride. This truck comes with air ride, so right here's where we would adjust the seats. This is for hot or cold seats as well. This is for the lumbar system. It comes with a charger, a 110 charger underneath here that acts as a trickle down charger. So basically it assists the batteries. So if we're shut off and we need the, the lights on or anything in the cab that assists that. The batteries, like I told you, are under the back seat, which is right here. So you unclip that to get into the batteries itself. As most haulers do, the back seat makes down into a bed. And to put it back up to a normal seat, very, very simple. One of the first things you'll notice about the Summit Hauler conversion is how much storage space there is. Again, another advantage to the industry is this has the most of anyone. We'll take a look at the front storage compartment. We'll notice that there is an air hose hookup right there. As we walk towards the rear of the truck, this is all rhino lining up here with an additional storage space there. It has a one little step to help you up and in. Now the primary focus when building these trucks is safety. And I realize that we've talked about the same stuff a few times. Well, that's mainly because it's so important. You know, I mean, what dollar amount do you put on you or your family's safety? So that's why I keep bringing this up and why we keep talking about it. So this is the drum for this specific truck right here. As compared to a one ton, one ton truck. So the, you hear a lot today about how much these pickups are gonna tow and I'll fully admit that they can tow a lot. Well, once they get up and going and say you have a trailer behind you, you're towing 15, 20, 25,000 pounds, yeah, those pickups are gonna pull up, but what's gonna stop you? So as opposed to this, which comes off of a F-350, this is the Summit Hauler right behind me. In addition, this is off of one ton truck. These are the brake pads. This is off of the truck right behind me. So when we're coming down the Rocky Mountains and go to stop, which one do you wanna bet on? I'll take my chances with this one. And as we know, pickup prices are getting substantially high. I mean, it's not uncommon anymore to see a 90, 95, $100,000 pickup. So let's compare longevity between the two. So this is the U-joint for this truck right behind me, all right? This is the U-joint for a GMC Sierra 3500, so a one ton. So if we look what's going to happen 150, 200,000 miles from now, which one's going to hold up? So with this type of an investment, you're going to want to look at longevity and durability as well and practicality. This is more practical than this. Now back to the truck, we'll take a look at the rear. This is aluminum, this isn't steel. So once we get 10 years down the road, this is going to look exactly like it does today. These are our light hookups. The backup camera runs off the Voyager system. So you can actually hook up four more cameras to this. So if you want one in your trailer or on the sides in the blind spots, right there is where they hook up. Underneath here is the hitch for a bumper pull trailer. One thing that Summit Hauler does is put 800 pounds of weight on top of the rear axles. Now that does a couple of things. First and foremost, that helps with traction. So if we find ourselves in mud, that helps us get out. Plus it prevents hydroplaning as we're going down the road 
let's say it's raining and those roads get wet, a little weight on the back will help with hydroplaning as well. This side, in terms of storage capability, is exactly like the other side. The middle component is right here. As you'll see, there is no divider between the front and the middle, which just allows you more room. You look back into the cab. From this angle, it gives us a really good shot of the DVD player. Now those DVD players do come with uh, headphones to make life quieter for the driver as that is in use. Here is our other fuel tank that we talked about. Again, take a look at all the space inside the passenger area. This gives us access to our cab air filters. There's another cup holder right there that pops out. Now let's crawl inside and take a look. Now these do come with a wrap around dash and that just makes everything easier to get to. For example, over here is the air dump. It's clear over here. If that was flat, it would be a little bit harder to get to. But that's the air dump right there. And that if we go to hook up the trailer and need to let a little air out of the back end, we simply press that and that'll lower that rear end for us. This is our our brake system so right now we're in neutral with the brake on this button here hooks the air to a trailer if we have air in the trailer behind us this is the fan that feeds air to the back seat this locks the differential this is our manual regen button we'll probably never have to use that to manually regen the vehicle but if we do right there's where it is and this is intermittent markers basically to communicate with other truckers as we go down the road up here is simply the windows um, cruise control is right here now these are very easily easy to drive and i realize with the, the size of these vehicles sometimes you know first look it can be a little intimidating but it's very very simple um, you simply press r for reverse put it in neutral and drive one thing i wanted to mention uh, is these have a sharper turning radius than pickups do. It'll surprise you if you get to go on a test drive sometime and go up and flip around that the turning radius on these is so, is so sharp. Down here is our trailer brakes. Our climate control is over here. The gauges are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, a couple of them that I do need to explain. This is for um, air. So the top one is air pressure to our brakes. That's all that top one does is brakes. The one below that is a secondary one, and that feeds basically everything else we've talked about. The seats, the cab, the climate control, all of that feeds off of that one. Now they do come with two horns, one here and one right here. Right above me is our backup camera. Now, if we have four cameras hooked up, it can divide into four sections, or you can press this button, which will go take them through one at a time. So with that being said, if you have any other questions on this particular vehicle or anything on the lot, feel free to give me a call at 303-684-3404. My cell phone number is 970-370-4067 or email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.